What's up, YouTube? What is up, YouTube? So, y'all, today we're gonna make a cooking video because, like, I'll be cooking and I'll be posting the food, but I never show y'all me cooking, like, the process and stuff. So, I got some, it's December 24th. It's like, don't give me the line, it's like six something, like six oh seven or something. So right now I'm at the, I got some chicken breast and some bake and some macaroni noodles and all that stuff. So I'm gonna just make some chicken and baked mac and cheese. Now I'm gonna bake my chicken, the chicken breast. It's like skinless bone. So I got the chicken and stuff like that. And I'm gonna bake it, y'all. My baked chicken, like my baked chicken breast, he tastes a fried. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm just gonna show you all the seasonings and different things of that nature, and we're gonna get into it. All right, y'all, so I got packs of chicken like this. I'm about to clean them. I got some freaking vinegar. And you know, Hi. if y'all don't clean y'all chicken, Hi. what are you doing? So I'm about to just go and put that in there. Let that soak for a little bit while I get everything else ready. Then I make baked mac and cheese. You know, most people like to shred it. For baked mac and cheese, I like to cube it. It's like a family thing. Like, that's how my family cook it, so that's how I cook it. And it tastes, it tastes, it tastes real good, y'all. So when I step out of the frame, I'm just, what am I doing? Putting the chicken to soak. To clean it. So yeah, y'all, um, right now. Let me show y'all. Chicken. My hands are clean, by the way. I washed my hands before I started the video. So, I don't mean, nobody see it. Ew, her hands are dirty. They're clean. They're clean, baby. They're clean. How y'all doing, though? Like, how y'all living? Y'all, it's for the new year. I might as well say my resolution, but y'all remember I went vegetarian for like two months. Like, I stuck it out for two months, but I wanted to go vegetarian permanently, but. I'm gonna wait till I wanna wait till the new year because stupid baby chicken. Mommy, mommy. You know what I'm saying? Just need some just a little bit more chicken. I wanna cut this freaking fat off. It's not even a knife that I like to use, but I'm gonna use it. My daughter is in behind me playing with eggs, y'all. Please cross your fingers that she don't drop them. Please don't drop the eggs. I hear her. Oh, can y'all see me? I'm just cutting this out. Me personally, I already don't like eating meat as it is. Like I like the taste, but I don't like the cleaning process because it made me not want to eat it. So at least the meat could do is be clean and without fat and blood and ugh. all that shit stuff. This meat is pretty. There's not a lot of fat on here. And graceful for the most part. Y'all got this from ShopRite. And then when I, the pack I showed y'all, it's halal. So if you are going to eat meat, it's more expensive. But eat halal meat, bro. Halal meat is the better meat. Just trying to put y'all on game. Just trying to put y'all on hub. Halal meat tastes way... Halal meat tastes way different. It don't even taste like... Just regular meat and regular chicken. Mm. I can't even mind the fat for him. He ate that jump. Y'all, I did not know that Hakeem ate the fat off chicken. Y'all, we've been together five years. I didn't know that till like a month ago. One day, I was just watching him eat, and he started eating like the gooey. Like the gooey part, yo. I was like, yo, you, you yo. I'm sure y'all know the drumsticks, that little part that be hanging. He eat that part. I'm like, yo, how do you chew it? Oh, you're rumbling. I didn't even know he ate that thing. We've been together for five freaking years. I didn't know that until like a month ago, bro. I'm like, why is he wrong? Stay for dinner. Stay for dinner. Put it fresh. What? You put it in the first? No. Alright, 
don't eat it. Save, don't drink it. Save for dinner. I know you're thirsty. I know you want something with some flavor, but save for dinner. You need to make this lemonade. That's it. You need to make. How you gonna have my video and not say hi to my people? Don't care about them. They not subscribe to me. So I got the chicken right now, soaking in some water and vinegar, you know, trying to get it clean and stuff like that. Right now, I'm about to get ready to cut the cheese for the macaroni. What you saying? Oh, the phone's charging. So yeah, I'm about to cut the cheese for my macaroni. Um, I know she's picking them up as long as she keep them over the couch, can't really break. So I'm blah, 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 blah. excuse me, little girl. So wait, wait, so what you doing with the chicken? Put, you put it in the oven? Yeah. So I got this mixable. I'm gonna cut the cheese up. Put it in. What? Let's put everything mine, mine, mine. These black folks in this house laugh. Especially this little girl right here. Can we, can we get a close up on a baby? I can't even show y'all her. But this little girl is loud and rambunctious. Right, Nami? Nami, you loud and rambunctious? I can't, what are you talking about? He mad, he mad as heck, he can't drink that juice. I shouldn't let him have it since he won't come for my subscribers. Like what? You come for my subscribers, you come for me, like. Yeah. Cancer sticks. Yo, I'm not talking to you. You just came from my people. Look, I don't take that junk lightly. I don't know who you think you was talking to. Smoke, I don't know who you vinegar. I don't know who you thought you was talking to, but you wasn't talking to my people. What, bro? Sorry, bro. What's yeah. up, y'all? It's good, gang. Gang, gang, gang. He's always a name not subscribe to me. If you post on a consistent basis, you might get some people to subscribe to you. Yeah. Yeah. sir. New After the new year hit, yeah. After the new year hit, oh yeah. I have more subscribers than you in two months. I would love for you to have more subscribers than me. I'm not no better. I would love for that to happen in two months, bro. Oh, Stand. two months. That's how you feeling? That's how I'm having more subscribers. All right. I mean, you got two. I know that's how he got to be. You know, I know that's how he got to be in competition with me instead of saying, she got two instead of saying, like, oh yeah, I'm about to be up there with you. You got to be better. Nah, than competition is my motivation. I can't. That's my motivation. I like to compete. I like to compete with you too. I battled the. I'm not to compete with this. Sperm, bro. What? I battled sperm, game. How you think I got here, bro? What? I was the only one to make it. I was in competition since first. You wasn't the only one to make it. You wasn't even the second one to make it. I mean, the first one to make it. I made it though. But you wasn't the first. I made it. Man, we, you had to come with like six million. Six million already came and went. And out of the six million, two made it. What you talking about? Out of the six Why? million, two made it. What you talking about? You mad old. Who would that tell you? Yo, I want some more tattoos. I'm taking a little tattoo break right now, if y'all couldn't tell. I want some more though. I got her, I ain't gonna lie, I got her. The only reason I haven't gotten any more tattoos is because I got her drawing something up for me. And we go, we go, just wait on it, bruh. Just wait on it, bruh, I got her drawing something up for me. Now, all my tattoos healing real well, they're pretty, they're pretty good. Except, the only one that's still healing, kinda, is the eye, the Kakashi eye in the back of my arm. That one is still healing, but everything else is pretty cool. Yo, I really hope she don't drop these eggs, bro. Yeah. What y'all been up to, though, like, what's life? Let me tell you about myself. So they put me back on my old shift, which means that I start work at like four o'clock in the morning again, till about nine o'clock in the morning. And then, 
Now though, I have more time to work out. So I've been working out. I worked out today. I worked out on Tuesday. Our schedule is really gonna be like Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So when I go work out, I'm gonna try to start recording again how I was before. Cause I know boys like to talk mad smack. Like they really got it for real. But a lot of times they don't even really be having it. Funny thing about going to the court as a female bowler girl, I'll pull up. Like if they know me, people know me, they'll pick me up. Not know me like they cool me, but know me because they know how I play. They'll pick me up. But if they don't know me, they won't pick me up. I went there, one of the last times I went there, I had went there and it was, I was like, I got next. And in front of my, you know, the boys, they never saw me play before, none of them, right? So I'm like, I got next. So I could tell the guy that I picked up, when I picked him up, he kind of didn't want to play on my team, but he played on my team anyways. Then when we got, you know, when we got the, the game got started, I started. We ain't liking them jobs. He like, I'm not even gonna do nothing. I'm gonna just keep passing you the ball. I'm gonna keep feeding you. I'm like, why you tough? Like, I ain't know if you was that tough. Bro did not want to play on the team with me because I was a female. I don't care about nothing. I'll play D on anybody. I don't care how tough you are. Matter of fact, I need to record a video. 1v1 in my fiance because he really think he all that in a bag of chips. I'm being honest right now. I can't. No, I can guard him. I can definitely guard him. And that's not to say he's definitely gonna get a. You wanna know the difference between you and the men that you play? Me and the men that I play? Yeah. You about to say the boys don't game should be no. honest. One hundred percent. What's the difference between me and the men that I play? The difference between me and the men you oh, play. Oh, you say. Oh, me as in you. I really mean me as in me. Okay, no, yeah. you. You said you. That's why. I said the difference between me and the men I and me you play. You said you. Okay. Men you play. Yeah, you play. No, but you said the difference between you and the men you play. That's what you said. I got it on video. I got you on 4K. Uh, Rwanda Tiger. I got you on 4K. The difference between you and the men that you play. Me and the men you play What's is that? that they take you lightly. They don't. They take they me. Do. They take me lightly at first. Then someone start getting buckets. Then they. Then they. Ooh. But then they playing. Then they playing ball. You not going. I'm not scoring. Them. No. So we get a game, and I won't score. I spot you 10-0. Game 12. I'll win. Hundred percent. Put you right in the post. You girl. If I'm a little girl and you're a grown man, does that not make you a pedophile? <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. We effing got him. But you trying to bag this, this pedophile. How about that? <laughs> what, son? Yo, every time you say something, it sounds worse and worse, bruh. I'm not gonna lie. I got some tea from the Chinese store. It's, they, it's homemade tea. Y'all, they put a lemon in that thing. That junk be hitting. That junk be hitting crazy. Nami! What are you doing? What happened? What happened? What happened? Talk. What you do? That's why you're so quiet over there. What happened? What happened? What you do? I do. Stop. Answer the question. What you do? I do. Your children are not for the weak. So if you are weak, do not put yourself in the children. Do not put yourself in the children. Do not put yourself in a position where you have children, bro. Children are not for me. So if you cooking and you don't using your using the table, like if you put your board on the table, and you don't clean your table up before you do it, you're nasty. That's just the truth, bro. You can't guard me, right? I came on some real junk. I was saying something before you came in here and interrupted me, but I was just saying that honestly, honestly, I can guard you. However, you're gonna get buckets on me. It is what it is. But you won't go, you won't, I won't. If I guard you 20 times, you're not gonna get 20 buckets on me. If I guard you 20 times and I'm guarding you for real, you are not getting 20 buckets on me, respectfully. It don't matter how much you get. Huh? Can't play 
difference on me, bro. All right. It's like Samaria Garbage. Alright. Oh, like a Garbage. Oh, do I look like a Garbage y'all? I look short in this thing. Y'all, I'm like five, four and a half. What about there? What'd you say? I'm a nerd. I'm a human? I'm puny? <laughs> Go ahead. Can't guard. I can't guard. I can't guard. Can't guard me. I can't guard you. Really? Yes. I can't stand in front of you, bro. You know what the good thing about playing where first I came? One thing I can't say is me personally. When I play with the boys or men I be playing with, I don't like being played like a girl. Like, don't I tell everybody I play with? Don't play me like I'm a girl. Like some people will, right? And then I start getting buggers in them. Then the first thing they saying is, oh, I'm not even trying. Then why are you sweating so much? If you're really not trying for it. Because you're not doing nothing on offense. So if you really wasn't trying then. Then they'd be like, all right, I'm out to try right now. Then I'll still get buggers in them. And they'd be like, man, that's love. That's, man, this junk really strapped, bro. Somebody called me a three-point specialist early. That's real. Somebody called me a three-point specialist. He went to a three-point specialist. He said, who told you to shoot like that? To my fiance. I just broke. My just broke too. Good so job. I can't guard. I can't play defense. Yeah, my just broke. What's she rubbing eggs on her leg? I've never seen somebody allergic I've to something seen a and want to eat it but... and never and want to eat it so much. I know. Oh, I really just be. I really just be boring. Yo, if I played in high school, how I play now? I would have 100 percent had college offers easy. I got so tough since I finished high school, bro. Like I get, I'll get picked up by grown men right now. My old dudes, bro. Let me tell y'all. One day I was bowling, right, and I was getting two v two. It was me and this guy versus these two men, right. So one of the men was like, y'all. I kid you not, he was like fifty. So me and the guy, we up, and I think it's like, it gotta be like last bucket or something. So the 50 year old guy guarding me, I beat him. I, I wasn't trying to shoot the last shot, I was about to lay him, I beat him. I went to lay him, yo, he hit me so hard in my face that my eye was like this. And it was watery and my jump was swollen, bro. I'm surprised I didn't have a black eye, bro. Like, yo, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Nah, you did that joke on purpose. You did that joke on purpose. You know you did that joke on purpose. You tried to take me out. You was not trying to have a last bucket on you by a woman. A young woman. It's cool though, because I still got the last bucket. That was a shot. But y'all just make sure. And I understand how to think. I see y'all see I've been posting my podcast lately. What y'all think about um I'm trying to figure out some more like topics that I'll talk with people about that people would be wanting to hear about. One thing I want to do is though, I know I had a reaction channel. I want to get back on my reaction channel and start, you know, posting my reactions and stuff. And I got more time to do it. I just need to do it. I just need to do it, y'all, honestly speaking. I wasn't even going to get any more tattoos. I got one right here on my arm. It says believe. I got it when I was like 17. And I got one on my back shoulder. It's my tattoo on my mom. That was, I got that in like 2020. I said I wasn't going to get any more. Then this year hit. I wanted to get one by my ear. So I got that one. And after I got that one, I, I started seeing the like, sleeves. And I was like, yo, I really want me a tattoo sleeve. And then I just started going to look crazy. Yo, I got all this space though. I do need to fill this in. I don't have anything to fill it in with yet. One thing I'm doing too is I'm getting tattoos that mean something to me. So I'm not just getting nothing that's like later on down the line. I'm going to just like, read that down. You feel me? Now, I mean, if you hit that again, you're going in the wrong. I can't see her, but she got a, like a little bike. I'm gonna have a little red bike that everybody got. She got one of those, and she be riding that jacket out. I'm just chilling. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm tired of eating meat. Y'all know what I miss so bad, bro? I freaking miss watermelon. I want y'all, if you know me, I did not like watermelon at all. Because everybody used to be like, oh, it's so juicy. Y'all, watermelon is not juicy to me. But since I started eating it this past summer, I've been eating seeded watermelon. It's so refreshing. I think people make refreshing. It's not juicy, but it is refreshing. Bro, oh, that junk be hitting the way nothing else is. It's, it's, it's not juicy. It's refreshing. Anyways, I've been wanting it so bad, but nobody got seeded watermelons. And I tried one that wasn't seeded, which isn't even natural. But that one wasn't even. That junk be hitting over the summer, bro. Nothing else tastes the same, bro. Nami! Get the juice and take it in the room! Oh man, Kama's like, she's so mean. Bro, Nami's like 10, bro. Nami's smart as heck, bro. Alright, take it in the room. Don't come back out here. Nami is like 10, bro. Yeah. When I was vegetarian, I was eating some good little fruit meals. I just need to find more meals that I can make or whatever. I need to look up more stuff, try more stuff. Because I really want to do it. I, want, I don't want to be vegan. I'm going to be vegetarian because I still want to eat cheese. I still want to. I don't want to eat milk, drink milk because I don't even like milk. But I definitely want to eat cheese. So I got to find the love, some recipes. I'll see ya. Okay. So while I did that, the chicken should be good. I'm about to. Put that in the oven. Oh, Lord. Lord, I put it in the oven, trash man. I'm about to season it and then put it in the oven. I'm just tripping. All right. What is that? Um, first, I got, let me put y'all on. Best oil. One of the best oils, avocado oil. This one, or I'll use like grapeseed oil. I don't use olive oil. If I, if I, if I can't find none of those, then I use olive oil. But if I could, I'll use avocado oil. The better oil to cooking. So I'm gonna just put a little bit on this chicken to help it stick better. And I gotta realize when you cooking, you gotta get your hands dirty, right? And obviously not dirty, cause it's clean. But you know what I mean. Hands dirty, sometimes your clothes dirty. What? Always saying something. Yeah, I'm gonna my hands off. So I got some garlic. Oh my gosh, I thought this was garlic powder. I'm crying. Oh, I bought that thinking it was garlic powder. This is a glass garlic powder I have left. I don't use garlic salt, really. Okay, I got a little bit of some salt. Y'all, I'm black. I season both sides of my meat. Okay, I'm just on. I don't know what's on. You gotta season both sides of my meat. And I add, so right here, this is pepper. I like this pepper, it's black pepper grande. I like, I like, I like what it is. I like how it comes out. This is chili powder. Chili powder be hitting, it add like a little spice to it. If I'm making like vegetable rice, I add that in there too and then add more flavor to the rice. Cause I don't eat like, I don't eat brown rice, so I don't eat like white rice or anything like that, or yellow rice. Okay. Then we got the paprika. I love paprika. Put that junk on everything, you heard? Okay. Yeah. I brought that out, but I'm probably going to use it. When it look like this, y'all, when I be seasoning my chicken, I ain't going to lie, I be wanting to eat it. See this, Jim? Y'all see this, Jim? Y'all see this, Jim? And then I turn it over so that way when I'm ready to season the next side, I could just season it. Who are you talking to? What are you talking about? How can you just come in the come in the living room? Come 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 get your camp time. Come get your camp time. Come get your camp time. Come on. Come on. What are you making? What is this? Chicken. Like what you making? Baked chicken. 
And I'm going to taste big time. She's fine. She's fried. You love cornstarch? Where you get that from? I've been at cornstarch. Okay. So I'm about to wash my hands back off, season it again, and redo the same thing. Nah, don't leave there. You want to do all that snack talk? It's in the room. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and put this in the oven. I got it on 350 degrees. So I got like a minute, so I put it in there. 35 minutes go by. I turn the pan 180 degrees. 15 minutes go by. I flip the chicken over and let it sit for another 10 minutes. And then I take it out because it's always cooked. But I always taste it before I do. <laughs> and I put it on the bottom row. So... What time is it? Somebody, anybody? Thank you. So at 7.34, I gotta check on the meat and turn it. Why does it? Why does it? Wait till the world on my shoulders and you feeling all alone. You got it, my good is old Ain't fair. Y'all, you know you making your noodles. You gotta put the oil in there. Put the avocado oil on the deck. I put it on. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. When I'm making something like this, like this, when I'm boiling noodles, I put it on high until the noodles get in there. Then I'll turn it down a little bit. But I put it on high so it boils faster. Right now, I'm gonna keep this out because I'm using it for the macaroni. The rest of this, I'm throwing this in the garbage because there's nothing else in there. The rest of this, I'm gonna put back in the seasoning cabinet. Cause I'm gonna be needing it. I normally, now a lot of people use, like my family, like we, they have like a little recipe they use to make macaroni and cheese. Now in the recipe, they use canned milk. I don't wanna eat anything out of a can because of the aluminum. Cause y'all know when you eat stuff out of aluminum, like bits and pieces, whether you could taste it or not, bits and pieces of aluminum gets in your food. So that's why I don't wanna use canned milk. Canned milk is literally milk and sugar. So I have sugar. So once I mix the milk, the sugar, the pepper and salt and stuff in the eggs, then I'ma pour it on top of my macaroni noodles in the pan, put the cheese. Y'all y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Now y'all gonna see what I'm talking about though. Where is my Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. My heart started being fast. Where is this sugar? Y'all, this sugar. Chef's kiss, you heard? Chef's kiss. I'm not gonna lie. I want some of this juice so bad. I like how you put your juice in the freezer and then you put mine in. Hakeem, why you put my juice in the freezer? But why you ain't put mine in the freeze too? Because you want yours the room temperature. And my man, thank you too, man. I just told him you was gonna say that too. That's crazy. You know me so well. All right, so y'all, my fiance said he was strong, and I want to try to do the crowd challenge with him and see if he really could lift me. How he said he could lift me. So you seen the video, right? <laughs> Please do not drop me. Oh, if you know you want to drop me, put me on the couch. Bro. Y'all probably just put it in the shower and put some on legs. Oh boy, bro. Want me to lift both my legs up? I got it, bro. Let's put your legs down. Open them. <laughs> 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 oh, what? You gotta do it. Oh, you laughing. You messing me up, bro. I'm not laughing at you. you. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Can't you freaking lift me? But you're too busy giggling. Open your legs. Oh boy, bro. Okay, you think? You got two of you? I did three. Oh, my fault. Okay, then him. All right, y'all, so right now, <laughs> the water is boiling. Let me put this back back. The water is boiling, so I'm about to go on and add the freaking, I can't even think now. 
blood done rushed in my head a little bit. So I'm about to go in and add the juice. So it's whole wheat elbows. These just taste so good. I'm about to get like a fork or something. And um, y'all, my light died, so the flash kind of cut off. But I'm gonna get a fork or something and just start it. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm about to, um, my chicken, I'm about to turn it on. Y'all, I did not know. Y'all know that I said baby was allergic to like eggs. I'm thinking she just allergic to eating them, bro. She's allergic to the touch. She rubbed one of them on her legs, so now her leg got like a little rash on it. Oh, eggs is crazy. Hey, Y'all can't. Y'all be alright. I'm about to just turn the chicken out right now. Ugh. Still got some water left in the can. If I need to mop, add some more. It's 7 34 to die on. So at 7 49, I'm going to flip the chicken. I just literally did this in the pan. It was facing this way. I just turned it that way. 180 degrees. I'm um, mixing up my noodles because I had to fire up too high. I don't want it to start sticking. So, yeah, y'all did not know he could do that, okay, him? I told him now he could go to the freaking weight room and get two 70 pound weights and curl mugs. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Right now I'm about to flip my chicken. Uh, it's been 15 minutes, it's probably been a little bit longer than that. Cause I don't, I normally set a timer, but I'm using my phone, so I didn't set a timer. So right now, let me get up close and personal and show y'all what the eggs look like. I mean, I tossed some eggs, what the chicken looking like. Okay. So right now, I'm going to just use my fork and turn it. Where I'm putting it back in for another 10 minutes. I um got the noodles right here. They're almost done boiling. They starting to, y'all know when noodles like almost done boiling, they start getting like thicker. Like they fill up more space, just like rice. So just turn that around a little bit so the noodles not sticking. And then when these are done, I'm gonna get ready to put that in the oven. I got this pan right here that I'm gonna use. Y'all like using glass pans. They be hot as a freak, but they're way better than like aluminum pans and stuff like that. So. All right, y'all, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm about to get ready to take the noodles out soon, but I might as well take the chicken out first. Uh, as a matter of fact, gotta taste it. Gotta taste it. So let me open this up real quick and taste it and see what it's talking about. So I got that. I'm gonna taste, taste the noodles to see if they're good. I think they are actually. Hey, help me. 
Mas é uma mais uma caixa. Não, não. É uma caixa. Não, não. 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 Right. Y'all, I don't know how much milk I should put being that. Because normally I will add milk and then all of the canned milk. So being that I don't put canned milk, I haven't found the right measurement yet of how much milk I should pull off yet. Um, I'm going to put this in the fridge. So I got the milk right here as y'all can see. I'm about to add two eggs in here. Um, After I add these two eggs in here, I'm going to... Start to start. I'm gonna start stirring it. I, that water running is the water running on the noodles. I got cold water running on the noodles. So I'll touch them on it. I gotta make sure that the eggs aren't just mad thick for no reason. Okay. Um, add some sugar. I don't add that much sugar, y'all. Honestly, I just kind of wink it with the sugar. I don't really add that much sugar. And I only use brown sugar. I don't use white sugar. That's it. That's how much sugar I'm having. So now, I'm gonna really stir that up. I forgot. Let me add some pepper. Yep. We'll add some pepper. I'm gonna get a little, like a pinch of salt, y'all. I'm not even lying. I got this, I use kosher salt. So I'm gonna add like a pinch. I see all this? I'm not adding this much. That's it. So, now I'm about to stir it up again. I'm gonna move this aside. Okay. Okay, so this is the pan that I'm cooking the macaroni in. I never turned the oh, I can't even talk. I never turned the um oven off being that. Uh-uh. Never turned the oven off being that I'm about to put the macaroni back in there. So it's still not really cool enough to touch so I'm gonna use actually. Where's the oh, dish towel? We get a spatula and condo. Y'all, I wanted to try to make some lasagna, but I'm about to start eating meat soon, so by the time I get ready to make it, it's gonna be too late. I'm not gonna be eating meat no more. Cause I made ziti, but I've never made lasagna like with the noodles and stuff. So I got my cheese. Add some of this cheese on top. So I like to cover it. Like I like to cover this drink with cheese. So it's enough. I like to leave it out too. I don't like to leave the cheese in the um, fridge while I'm waiting because I don't want it to get um, too, too, too cold and take forever to like it. 
Okay. So can I see? Yeah. I kinda try to even it out as best as I can. Alright. And we're gonna add the rest of the cheese on top. Now my family's recipe, they add butter on top when they're done. So I don't add it on top. I'm not gonna lie. I maybe could have got another cheese. Not me, your dad called you. Oh, yeah, I ain't even more cheese. Yeah, this be the perfect amount. Not me. Friends, your dad called you? But yeah, I, I just try to fill in all the spaces, like a gap where there is no cheese. Alright y'all, so now I'm gonna add this on top. And I'm gonna like spread it when I add it. So y'all gonna see, start over here. And kind of work my way down to the whole thing. Kind of try to work my way across. Try to pour it evenly. All right. Then I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more pepper on top. All right, that's good. I'm gonna add in other than I got it on 350. I'm gonna put it in here and probably leave it in here for a good 10 minutes. Then like the last five minutes, I'll probably turn the oven up to like 400. So I'll be back for it. All right, y'all, I'm back. It got hot while I was waiting, so I had to take my hoodie off. Um, the macaroni's ready. I'm about to go and take that out of the oven. All right, y'all, so I'm about to plate this and show y'all what's going on, and we're gonna be ending this soon. Oh, let's get into it real quick. Y'all, my phone is on like 10%, so I'm trying to hurry up and finish this little video. show y'all the plate real quick and then I'm about to be out so this was a cooking with me I made some chicken baked macaroni and cheese I hope y'all like this vlog it's the longest vlog I've ever done I hope y'all watch it make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe turn that post notification bell on in peace